हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप वालिया हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मैनेजमेंट चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल आइटा एंड इकायो रोल मेंबरशिप्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंस अंडर द पेपर एविएशन इंडस्ट्री टिकटिंग एंड फ्रंटियर फॉर्मेलिटीज आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल the students will be able to understand the role of iata in fostering global aviation the activities and functions of international civil aviation organization that is icao the role of iata and icao in the growth and betterment of global aviation worldwide let us now start tourism industry is an umbrella which encompasses various sectors such as the aviation hospitality travel trade national tourism organizations government agencies working together to create tourism products and services every sector is indispensable to the overgrowth and development of tourism industry also these sectors interact with one another at various levels to deliver a complete tourist experience in this module we shall be learning about two of the world's important and notable organizations that work to foster aviation globally these organizations are international air transport organization which is abbreviated as iata iata the second one is international civil aviation organization which is abbreviated as icao both these organizations since the inception have contributed immensely to the betterment of aviation industry by encouraging innovation best practices in safety and security in aviation and technological advancement this module will further enable you to understand these organizations role and responsibilities and their interaction with other sectors on tourism industry to promote a thriving environment for tourism industry to grow let us now start with the international air transport organization which is iata first international air transport organization is a trade association whose members are the airlines around the world It was established in the year 1945 with a mission to be the force for value creation and innovation driving a safe secure and profitable air transport industry that sustainably connects and enriches our world. ITA's headquarters is located in Montreal, Canada. ITA has been instrumental in formulating global aviation policies and standards and further has been constantly supporting member airlines in various activities over 265 airlines in over 107 countries are the member of iata carrying 83% of the world's air traffic the membership is open to both cargo and passenger airlines let us now discuss the history and origin of iata iata was established in havana cuba on the 19th april 1945 with an aim to foster inter airline cooperation in promoting safe reliable secure and economical air services for the benefit of world's consumers the present day ita is a successor of the international air traffic association founded in hague in 1919 in the year 1945 after its inception ita was founded with 57 members from 31 nations today some of the leading and largest passenger and cargo airlines of the world are its members global aviation industry has grown many fold since the inception of iata let us now discuss the role of iata iata was founded with the mission to promote and support global aviation the three important missions that are guide iata are as below representing the airline industry by improving understanding of the air transport industry among decision makers 
and increased awareness of the benefits that aviation brings to national and global economies. The next one is leading the airline industry by developing global commercial standards upon which the air transport industry is built. And the third one is serving the airline industry by helping airlines to operate safely, securely, efficiently and economically under clear defined rules. The role of the International Air Transport Association in aviation is wide ranging which can be highlighted in the below discussed areas. Increasing safety and security for passengers, crew and cargo and also for the aircrafts. To enable payment and distribution transformation. To reduce charges, fees and taxes to make flying accessible to all, to implement practices globally to remove existing regulatory restrictions for faster travel solutions, for improving the regulatory and legal environment in order to foster the growth of aviation industry, promoting sustainable aviation fuel projects in order to mitigate ecological issues associated with aviation, to monitor and maintain high level of membership satisfaction in order to represent, lead and serve the global aviation industry better. Dear students, let us now discuss activities, services and functions of IATA. IATA was formed with the following objectives. The first one is to promote safe, regular and economical air transport for the benefit of the people of the world, to foster air commerce and study the problems connected therewith. The second one is to promote means for collaboration among air transport enterprises engaged directly or indirectly in international air transport service. The third one is to cooperate with International Civil Aviation Organization and other international organizations. There is always a close association and dialogue between ICAO and IATA. IATA engages itself in wide range of activities and functions by providing service in some of the below discussed areas. The first one is IATA accreditation for travel and cargo. International Air Transport Association accredits the travel agents which authorize them to sell domestic and international tickets on behalf of ITA member airlines. ITA authorized travel agents also have access to billing and settlement plans which creates a platform for efficient interface for invoicing and payment between the agent, airlines and transport providers. ITA also accredits airlines and cargo agents who are involved in transportation of flight globally. ITA recognized agents and airlines have recognition for financial and professional competence. Airlines working with ITA cargo agents have access to a worldwide distribution network of approved agents to sell their products. IATA also offers certification programs in air ticketing and cargo to travel agents and students interested in pursuing air ticketing as a career. Students, let us now discuss IATA codes. IATA is the international body that is responsible for assigning unique codes to airlines, its destination countries, cities, airports and its traffic documents. IATA codes are not only essential to but are also fundamental to the smooth running of numerous electronic applications which have been built around these coding systems for passengers and cargo traffic purposes. These codes are assigned to make the operations easier and hassle free for both airlines and passengers too. All the airlines have a two letter alphanumeric code. For example, Jetware Airways is 9W. All cities or airports have three letter alpha codes. For example, Bengaluru or Bangalore is having the code BLR. 
all countries have two letter alpha codes for example india the code is in in capital letters all individual flights have alpha numerical codes prefixed by the airline code for example jet airways bangalore singapore flight at 835 hours is assigned a code 9w442 The next one is consultation. IATA with over 70 years to experience in aviation industry also provides consultancy services to various stakeholders of aviation industry. IATA provides assistance in the areas such as airlines, ground handling and cargo, airport passenger and safety, environment, economy and safety and flight operations. The next one is safety and flight operation solutions. IATA also is an expert body in pro providing safety and flight operation tools and business intelligence solutions to players in the aviation industry. They are designed to support a safe, secure, efficient and economical air transport industry that is environmentally sustainable. IATA also provides services to the industry in the areas of air traffic management, safety, quality and flight operations, etc. Financial services. IATA provides simple, secure and effective financial solutions across the air transport industry such as airlines, civil aviation authorities, air navigation service providers, airports, travel professionals and industry partners. The next one is business intelligence and statistics. Business intelligence driven by accurate data is become profoundly important in making business decisions today. Every decision in the competitive business environment today must be backed by data that is analyzed to derive meaningful interpretations. IATA has been one of the important and credible sources of data in various areas of aviation. IATA publishes relevant data periodically and also complies data on request. These data and statistics are an important part of business intelligence for airlines and other players in the aviation industry. The next one is security solutions. IATA offers advice, guidance, support, all the latest regulatory information and opportunities to the network. IATA also provides training for airport and aircraft security personnel. Airport solutions. IATA also offers a wide range of services in airport construction, maintenance and its operations. It of also offers training for airport staff and personnel in various areas of airport operations. Let us now discuss about the membership. Membership of IATA is open to all airlines operating whether they are scheduled and non-scheduled air services that maintain an IATA operational safety audit registration. The members of IATA enjoy various benefits and advantages such as international recognition, network opportunities with various international airlines and agencies. Reduced cost in various transactions and settlements, platform for training and other services too. Let us now discuss organization and governance structure of IATA. IATA has 54 offices in 53 countries and is represents close to 265 airlines from 117 countries. Flights by IATA member airlines represents over 83% of total traffic globally. The IATA regions are divided into five major regions namely Africa and Middle East, Europe, China and North Asia, Asia Pacific, the Americas. IATA was given an asset to a special act of the Canadian Parliament incorporating IATA on December 18, 1945. The Articles of Association of IATA regulates the activities and affairs of IATA. The annual journal meeting amends the articles of association from time to time. The most recent 
the 68th annual general meeting made by amendments in 2012 was held in Beijing. IATA is governed by an appointed nominated committee that makes recommendations to the annual general meeting for appointments of member to the board of governors. IATA is composed of a board of governors which acts like the government or the governing body of IATA. Its members exercise an oversight and executive role on behalf of the membership as a whole in representing the interests of the association. Besides the above, there are six industry committees, namely Cargo, Environment, Financial, Industry Affairs, Legal and Operations Committees. These committees represent their respective areas and make recommendations when required. Also, ITA has a working group and traffic conferences. Traffic conferences provide a forum for traffic coordination discussions. It also renders services as the central source of traffic information for publishers and members. Dear students, let us now discuss about International Civil Aviation Organization, which is abbreviated as ICAO. The International Civil Aviation Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations established by states in 1944 to manage the administration and governance of the Convention on International Civil Aviation, which is also known as Chicago Convention. It was established in order to codify the principles and techniques of international air navigation. ICAO also aims at fostering the planning and development of international air transport to ensure safe and orderly growth of aviation. Headquartered in Montreal, Quebec, which is in Canada, ICAO was created with the vision to achieve the sustainable growth of the global civil aviation system. ICAO's primary mission is to serve as the global form of states for international civil aviation. Further, ICAO also develops policies and standards, undertakes compliance audits, performs studies and analysis, provide assistance and builds aviation capacity through many other activities and the cooperation of its member states and stakeholders. Presently, there are 191 ICAO members consisting of 190 of the 193 UN members. Let us now discuss about history and origin of ICAO. Formerly established as International Commission for Air Navigation ICAN, which was established in the year 1903, ICAN continued to function until the year 1945. In the year 1944, Convention on International Civil Aviation was held in Chicago, in which 54 countries signed and agreed to establish Provisional International Civil Aviation Organization PICAO. As per the agreement, PICAO began operating on 6 June 1945, replacing ICAN. In the year 1947, ICAO became a permanent agency of the United Nations. Let us now discuss the roles of ICAO. ICAO plays a crucial role in aviation industry by supporting and enabling a global air transport network that meets or surpasses the social and economic development and broader connectivity needs of global businesses and passengers. Keeping this broad aim, ICAO has laid down the following objective that guide the functions of ICAO. The first one is safety. ICAO's primary role in aviation industry is to enhance global civil aviation safety by effectively implementing the Global Aviation Safety Plan, that is GASP. The second one is air navigation capacity and efficiency. In order to increase the capacity and improve the efficiency of the global civil aviation system, strives to promote upgrading the air navigation and aerodrome infrastructures and developing new procedures to optimize aviation system performance worldwide. The third one is security and facilitation. ICAO functions to enhance 
aviation security, facilitation and other matters related to border security. The next one is economic development of air transport. It plays an important role in for fostering the development of a sound and economical viable civil aviation system by harmonizing the air transport net framework focused on economic policies and supporting activities. The next one is environmental protection. ICAO seeks to minimize the adverse environmental effects of civil aviation activities by implementing policies and regulations for the aviation industry that are consistent with the ICAO and UN system environmental protection policies and practices. The other objectives include to foster the implementation of ICAO standards and recommended practices to the greatest extent possible worldwide, to develop and adapt new or amended SARPS and associated documents in a timely manner to meet changing needs. The next one is to strengthen the legal framework governing international civil aviation to ensure the currency coordination and implementation of regional air navigation plans and provide the framework for the efficient implementation of new air navigation systems and services to respond on a timely basis to major challenges to the safe, secure and efficient development and operation of civil aviation. It also ensures that the information and guidelines on the economic regulations of international air transport is updated and useful to the members. ICA also assists in the process of mobilization of human, technical and financial resources for civil aviation facilities and services to foster greater growth. It also ensures the greatest possible efficiency and effectiveness in the operations of the organization in order to meet the above objectives. Dear students, let us now discuss about the memberships of ICAO. Membership of ICAO is open to virtually every country in the world. As of March 2016, ICAO members had 191 members consisting of 190 of the 193 UN members. Let us now discuss about the organization structure of ICAO. The Assembly the organization structure of ICAO comprises of two important organs namely ICAO has the assembly which is sovereign body and the governing body and the council. The assembly comprised of all member states of ICAO and meets at least once in every three years and is convened by the council. The assembly has various powers such as to elect the member states to be represented on the council, to examine and take appropriate action on the reports of the council and decide any matter reported to it by the council and to approve the budgets of the organization. The next one is council, the council. The council of ICAO on the other hand is a permanent body responsible to the assembly and is composed of 36 contracting states elected by the assembly for a three-year term. The council is headed by a council president who is appointed for a three-year term. The council has numerous functions notable among them are the following. To submit annual reports to the assembly, to carry out the directions of the assembly and discharge the duties and obligations which are laid on it by the Convention on International Civil Aviation which was held in Chicago in the year 1944. The next one is to administer the finances of ICAO, to appoint and define the duties of the Air Transport Committee as well as the Committee on Joint Support of Air Navigation Services, the Finance Committee, the Committee on Law Unlawful Interference the Technological Cooperation Committee and the Human Resources Committee to appoint the members of Air Navigation Commission and it elects the members of the Edward Warner Edward Committee. Here is the list of countries or states that were elected 
from among ICO's 191 member states to the ICO's 36 member governing council for the year 2016 to 2019. In the first part, that is part 1, countries of chief importance in air transport. For example, the countries like Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Russia, United Kingdom and United States. The second part which is part 2. In this, the countries which make the largest contribution to the provision of facilities for international civil air navigation. For example, the countries like Argentina, Colombia, Egypt, India, Ireland, Mexico, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Africa, Spain and Sweden. The third one is the part 3 countries, the countries which ensure geographic representation. For example, Algeria, Cabo Verde, Congo, Cuba, Ecuador, Kenya, Malaysia, Panama, Republic of Korea, Turkey, UAE, United Republic of Tanzania and Uruguay. One of the very important duties of the Council is to adopt international standard and recommendation practices and to incorporate these as annexes to the Convention on International Civil Aviation. Dear students, let us now discuss about the Air Navigation Commission. The Air Navigation Commission, which is also abbreviated as ANC, is composed of 19 member countries who are selected on the basis of suitable qualification and experience in the science and practice of aeronautics as directed by the Convention on International Civil Aviation. The Commission's role is to consider and recommend standards and recommended practices and procedures for air navigation services for adoption or approval by the ICAO Council. The Secretary The Secretariat of the International Civil Aviation Organization is handed by the Secretary General who is appointed for a three-year term. The Secretariat consists of five bureaus. The first one is the Air Navigation Bureau. The next is the Air Transport Bureau. The third one is the Technical Cooperation Bureau. The fourth one is the Legal Affairs and External Relations Bureau. And the last one, which is the fifth one, is the Bureau of Administration and Services. Let us now discuss the importance of ICAO in civil aviation. The areas of ICAO functions that make ICAO an important organization in the aviation industry. It ensures the safe and orderly growth of international civil aviation throughout the world. It promotes the safety of flights in international air navigation. ICAO aims at the establishment of international standards, recommended practices and procedures covering licensing of personal rules of the air aircraft operations, airworthiness, aeronautical telecommunications, air traffic services, accident investigation, aircraft noise and emission levels, security and safe transport of dangerous goods. After a standard is formally adopted, each of the ICAO's contracting states implements it within their territories. ICAO has actively strived to develop a satellite-based system concept to meet future communications, navigation surveillance, air traffic management that needs of civil aviation. For the purpose of the ICAO, the globe is divided into nine geographical regions which are treated individually for planning the provision of air navigation facilities and services required on the ground. The, re the regional meetings of ICAO are held Periodically, the procedural formalities globally which may add extra time to passengers journey and the provision of adequate air terminal buildings. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have discussed in this module. IATA and ICAO through their various organs that represent the aviation industry have strived to achieve their mission of making aviation industry a sustainable one as aviation becomes an inevitable development globally acting as socio-economic catalyst in enhancing such a development 
the role of IATA and ICAO is far greater than ever today. As worldwide growth in industries and trade continues, aviation industry faces newer challenges. Most important of these challenges include safety of passengers and cargo and secondly the growing concern with regard to environment. The need for industry and government cooperation to address these has never been greater than today. International bodies such as IATA and ICAO have been greatly instrumental in fostering the growth of aviation industry and also equipping the various stakeholders of the industry to face the challenges that the industry faces. With these words, I sum up the module. Thank you.